How's it going everyone? This is Good Job Tommy with episode 3 of the Creative Minecrafting series. I've been really waiting and looking forward to getting around to doing this one because finally after a couple more technical uh, episodes I'm, I've been looking forward to getting to something a little more fun, a little more uh, design idea oriented that I've been wanting to do on this channel. And it kind of represents more of what my intention for this channel is going to be. And this is going to be a video of a handful of ideas on designing your beds and how to use them in your house or your build. Um, and I'm focusing this time around on actual real beds because if you look at some other uh, design idea videos, you'll see kind of a combination of real beds and fake beds that you can make out of wool blocks and things like that. But I know that real beds kind of pose kind of a unique challenge with how to use them because um, it has some limitations but personally I like to have real beds in my in my worlds in my houses in my builds because I like to have a, a bed that I can actually use so while in a future video I might be uh, coming up with some ideas about how to use fake beds this time around I decided that I kind of wanted to focus on real beds. So I have about six uh, ideas on how to come up with different ideas of, of using beds other than just kind of placing a bed in the corner of your house. So the first one is kind of a little more straightforward and what you'll see here is a double bed. All these designs that I use I believe I used a double bed because I just think it's a nicer option to have a bigger bed in your house. Um, so this one is a double bed with uh, kind of a little nook behind it, almost like a little shelf, um, a shelf kind of headboard behind it with a little indentation. And basically this kind of came from, I'll show you the back, I left the back kind of a, a step format for you because I don't know if you noticed in my introduction video, episode one, this is the kind of style of bed and bed uh, headboard that I had because I had a loft bedroom and so this would be this kind of represents the outside roof of the top of my house and so inside I had kind of a angled roof loft bedroom challenge that I had to work with so I came up with the idea of using these stairs these are two stair steps behind right behind the bed and on the corners are kind of corner steps if you place them at an angle they make corner steps and it makes kind of a nice kind of headboard slash shelf unit and it's kind of an idea that I hadn't seen on any other videos or in any other worlds that other people were doing. It kind of makes a nice little shelf kind of section and above that kind of making I used again which you may have noticed in episode one and two I like to use custom paintings as fake objects in the game so I went ahead and put a, a shelf image on either side and two different bookshelf paintings. So it kind of makes a nice headboard and something a little useful. It looks a little a little better than just having a bed in the corner of your room. So that's kind of a more basic, simple, kind of the, the most generic kind of design that you're going to see in this video. Uh, number two is a variation of a canopy bed. Basically, uh, I've seen some canopy bed ideas using fence posts, and these are fence gates on the top, but I wanted to make it more of an altar piece. So if you're going to have a bed uh, in a temple or a castle, you can do something like this where it's more of an altar. Again, it's a double bed, but it's on, uh, in this case, I use sandstone steps, sandstone blocks on the corners with item frames and again sandstone blocks in the item frames to kind of give a little a nice little design touch to the corners so this is something a little more majestic a little more of like I said an altar in a temple or something like that if you want something uh, that kind of gives a little bit more of that feel to your bedroom you can have and the nice thing about this idea is that this is something where you can have in the center of a really grand master bedroom rather than what you normally see of having a bed in a corner or against a wall. This is something that could be in the in the middle of a bedroom. It'd be kind of a nice central design feature. And you could use something like gold blocks or gold blocks in the item frames, something like that. But this is just one approach to that. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to work with. 
Number three, I've been really excited about. Um, it's not totally grown in yet, but it's mostly there, grown enough for you to get the idea. This is kind of a enclosed bed canopy kind of thing, where I've got uh, vines growing down. Obviously, and like I said, they're almost totally grown in. It takes you know a few days for these vines to grow in, um, but they clear the weather. It's starting to rain. Uh, but along the top and on the floor, I've got uh, alternating green wool blocks and green hardened clay. And that kind of adds a nice little natural feature that goes really well with the vines, I think. And it makes a nice little enclosed private canopy bed. And you can kind of, obviously you can walk through vines so it's easy to get to the bed. And it kind of looks cool like a little tent effect in here. So it's nice if you're going for more of a natural feel, and I like the way that the, the green ties in uh, and works well with the vines. So that's an idea I haven't seen before. And by the way, before I go any further, any of these ideas uh, I came up with on my own, but I'm not, uh, you know, there uh, I, there's a lot of players out there I haven't seen their ideas, so it's very possible that any one or more of these ideas could have already been come up with. Um, but I just wanted to come up with some ideas on my own and play around with different approaches to using real beds uh, and see what I come up with. So I'm not necessarily claiming full ownership of these ideas, but um, I just wanted to play around and see w what different approaches to using beds I could come up with. This one is pretty simple, uh, but it's another thing that I haven't seen in other videos. This uh, use, uses fence posts to make kind of a nice pergola kind of uh, canopy on the top. I've got white carpet pieces to make a little uh, canopy above the bed. You could do a lot of things with this. You can put some uh, bookshelves in the center if you want or some plants on the side. But it's a nice little uh, separator. Again, pretty straightforward. This one I call the lazy reader style of bed. I wanted to try a, a design where I came up with a recessed bed kind of one half step down from the floor and basically for this one it's again a double bed down half step and I lined it with bookshelf blocks and it kind of I love the way when you're using when you're using half half slab blocks in builds I like the way that when you the fact that when you use bookshelves you just see the top shelf and it's kind of a helps to switch things up a little bit visually. So this is kind of one if you want to, you know, lie in bed and don't want to get out of bed and just read some books all day, this kind of half slab down uh, bed approach is, is really cool. And I've lined it with fence posts with, I think this is oak leaves to make some little trees, lining it to kind of add a little more vertical interest to this kind of thing. So there's that, another approach. And lastly, if you've seen episode one and two, I've talked a lot about uh, customizing painting images. And in this case, I you'll see this 4x3 painting that I've used here. And I originally created it and customized this painting image in the Sortex Van Fanver uh, texture pack to use for doorways. But I thought this kind of makes an, a really cool alternative to a bed frame. A bed canopy, uh, and, and uh, you'll see that I have signs lining the insides here. And the reason for that is that in order to to uh, place a painting like this with no with these two with these four sorry transparent blocks in the center, you need to be able to aim your crosshairs at this this top signpost here at the side of it, and click through in order for it to to recognize that there is a space there and I'll, if, if you really want me to do a video on how to place uh, a painting like this over a transparent center I can do that but basically uh, these fence posts or sorry these signs need to be here in order for me to place these paintings and in this case I have glowstone blocks that I customized. You can see the glowstone texture in there, but I I covered it with a white uh, texture because I really prefer the white glowstone blocks, and that's an idea I got from Biggs87X. 
I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the, in the description. But I also like to see a little of the original glowstone textures through there. And you'll see that again I used a recessed uh, bed design in there and that is only because when I built this and I, and I actually tried it out and slept overnight in this I wasn't able to get I wasn't able to get out. I was trapped in this little cube area because of the raised section in, and uh, I, I just the raised bed. And I wasn't able to actually get out of here, so I ended up using a, a recessed bed section. I think it's kind of cool. So that's just another uh, approach to this. I'm leaving it nighttime because it actually kind of looks cool with the glowstone there as a as a bed lamp in there. So anyway, here are six unique approaches to bed designs that I haven't seen before. Like I said, I've watched uh, quite a few different bed design videos and uh, many of them have been a combination of real beds um, and fake beds, but most of them actually feature fake beds because you can do a lot more with fake beds, but like I said, I like to use real beds that I can actually sleep in overnight unless you're gonna have a, a big mansion or castle or something with multiple bedrooms we have the luxury of having uh, more than one bed and you can have a lot of fake beds in there because you're not going to be using them anyway um, but um, I wanted to try to come up with some ideas for designs with real beds and come up with some unique approaches to that I might be doing a video in the future uh, using fake beds I probably will but anyway here's six unique approaches I haven't seen before. Hopefully you either find some inspiration in here on, on the design you want to use or it sparks some some ideas that that, uh, that build off of some of these concepts. So anyway, leave a comment please. I'd uh, love it if you liked or subscribed to this video and uh, if you have any questions or have any ideas of your own, I'd love to hear it. So thanks again everyone and I'll talk to you soon.